hey y'all and welcome back to another video so in today's video this is gonna be a little different y'all we finna talk about a serious topic i noticed in the comments on the video where i was saying um our relax is trending back now or whatever and i noticed a lot of people commented in my comment section about relax is causing cancer and i looked at that i said whoa and I saw it more and more, and I instantly wanted to research it because, you know, when I see something, I don't just go and believe what people say. I got to go research it myself. So that's my advice to y'all. I'm going to give y'all some information, but at the end of the day, please look at it for yourself and don't just go by what I'm saying or however. And I also will have all the links to my resources and everything down in the description box below so you can check it out yourself but yeah let's get into it so yeah i instantly googled you know relaxers being linked to cancer and i was amazed by how much popped up and i said whoa so i went to the american cancer society site and um i saw a good amount of stuff i was tripping out but one that stuck out to me, it said that women who use straighteners, basically chemical hair straighteners and relaxers may have a higher risk of uterine cancer, according to a new study from researchers at the U.S. National Institute of Health. So I scrolled down a little further, and it, this really, I was like, what? <laughs> it said, after an average of nearly 11 years of follow-up, Women who had reported using hair straightening products were almost twice as likely to have developed, developed uterine cancer than those who did not. After adjusting for other factors that might affect risk, women who had reported frequent use of straighteners more than four times in the previous year were about two and a half times more likely to develop, to develop uterine cancer. So they said that they estimated that 1.64% of women who never use hair straighteners will go on to develop uterine cancer by the age of 70. But for frequent users, their risk goes up to 4.05%, said, you know, the Alexander White and all that. You know, I have the resources at the end. And uh, they said this is a doubling rate <laughs> And it's concerning. So, but at the end of the day, they said that uh, more research is needed to confirm these findings. So, um, yeah, y'all, they discovered something, you know, with this. And I'm, and like I said, they said they've been studying it. And from what they've been saying, like 11 years, they kind of put it to the test. But you never know. So, uh, yeah, this is crazy. When I do my research, I don't like to just look at one site. I like to look at multiple sites and see if it's on other studies or all the good stuff. So I went to the National Institute of Health, and they also had the same thing, hair straightening chemicals associated with higher uterine cancer risk. So as I was scrolling through this site, they had a more detailed description on the study that they did. So when they did the study, um, they used 33,497 women ages 35 to 74 participating in the sister study. And of course it was led by the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences. The, what they said was the women were followed for almost 11 years and during that time, 378 uterine cancer cases were diagnosed. The researchers found that women who reported frequent use of hair straightening products defined as more than four times in the previous year were more than twice as likely to go on and develop uterine cancer compared to those who did not use the products. Now, from 33,000 to, and well, compared 33,378, that might not sound like a lot, as far as the comparison, but to me, that's a lot, man. That's like, man, 378 people. But the fact that it's even people getting it off of it, like, that's big. But, you know, that's just my personal preference. But, yeah. So, 
Let me give y'all one more thing and I'll be off of it. So what I noticed um, as I was looking at a couple of the sites, I noticed that formaldehyde was a good amount of uh, one of the reasons for the straighteners. And when I say chemical straighteners, I'm not just talking about uh, relaxers. I'm talking about like, um, I forgot them, them Japanese straighteners, all this stuff. If it's a permanent straightener, if your hair do not revert back to natural, uh, it's it's a chemical. So, but yeah, like, man, like I remember, I'll never forget I was in beauty school and we watched a video how a lady literally had to use a gas mask as she would do her straighteners, blowouts. And I said, whoa. And I'm talking, when I say blowouts, I'm talking about like the straightener blowouts, not um like you blowing your hair out with a blow dryer. Because it contained formaldehyde. And formaldehyde, they use that in the bombing fluid for people that's dead. <laughs> but um, yeah, they said they can't pinpoint the exact brands that that is causing the cancers, but they said what they do notice that's a common factor is the ingredients and formaldehyde is one of them. And also I noticed that they said that it's a hormone, uh, I guess the hormone related cancers. So I'm guessing the estrogen is off balance, but yeah, yeah, I want y'all to go look at this for yourself. And for the ones that's relaxed, you know, I'm not judging. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, man, you live your life. You do what you want to do. But also, go check it out and go with your gut. Go with your heart. If you feel like, man, this, I don't know. I don't think I want to take this chance on this. I don't want to up my risk because we already got so much stuff in this world that's going against our bodies. So, like I, I decided to, I'm pescatarian, so I decided to get off like heavy meats and stuff. I only do fish and I barely do that because I made that choice that I wanted to lower my risk when it came to the animal products and I don't like to see that the death with the animals. But like, yeah, like, and please y'all don't come in my comments saying, well, we already screwed anyway, we gonna die anyway. Y'all, I have a very sensitive, like, as a child, I dealt with that same saying from someone close to me that used to tell me that, well, we're going we gonna to die someday anyway. And that person was close to me, and they ended up passing away from three cancers. And she was a survivor, but, like, yeah, like, man, if you can lower your risk of your health being you know if you can if you can control what you can do with your body if you can make that risk lower like yeah don't and don't put god in it don't say well god go we gonna go someday anyway we gonna god gotta take us out anyway da, da, da. don't do that because that's just like saying okay i'm gonna risk my life every day doing something i'm supposed to be doing you shortening your life don't blame it on god <laughs> but anyway but yeah, I wanted to, um, it was one more thing I wanted to tell y'all. So they going after L'Oreal, um, they, man, these companies, <laughs> they finna do it. It's a big lawsuit against, um, L'Oreal beauty companies, alleged hair straightening products cause uterine cancer. So, like, yeah, this is for y'all, um, if y'all feel like, and yeah, if you had somebody in your family that did get the uterine cancer and they been having relaxes they might need to uh, tap into this and see if they can get compensated for this so but yeah like this is real y'all so y'all know i want y'all to comment below and give me your feedback what your opinion is about this and how you feel about it uh yeah this is interesting man uh of course i said that i could never go back to relaxes because it wasn't because of that, but that kind of adds to it. <laughs> but, like, uh, you know, my reason was for, like, I just want to, I love my natural state. When I first saw it, I fell in love with it. And relaxes are kind of boring to me because if it's straight, it can't go back to anything else. It's just straight. 
but yeah uh, i hope y'all enjoyed this video let me know if y'all want me to do anything else with you know as far as the health and new findings of things and all that stuff because i noticed that my last video and i have that previous video in the cards above on the right hand side at the top of the video and also at the end of the video about you know the new studies of you know the stuff that's happening with the hell because <laughs> i also i ain't gonna lie y'all i also seen something about pressing products and i couldn't find it but like yeah like i, I ain't gonna lie y'all when i be in the shop i get nervous with like the smoke like even when i'm still pressing I blow the smoke as I'm silking the hair out because, like, if you think about it, I'm inhaling products and smoke every time I'm working. And it could be dangerous as well. So, yeah. Y'all enjoy the rest of the video. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. To grab hold to the microphone Got him nodding along Maybe she'll save the world for me Maybe she'll right my wrongs If I'm coming on too strong Oh well Only way to tell is by saying This how I feel and that's real Murder the goose beat, shout to Mills on the cool keys, ooh, she's for like the cool.